Your router handles every bit of data that passes through your internet connection, including passwords, messages, and payment information. Making sure that your router is secure is one of the most important ways to keep that information away from prying eyes. Most modern routers have what it takes to keep your network safe and sound. Residential networks usually just need something with a firewall, software updates, and strong passwords. But our recommendations offer a little something extra in addition to great security, whether that's stronger parental controls for a family, advanced security features to tinker with, or super fast speeds. We recommend Google Nest Wi-Fi because its automatic updates and simple, app-based controls streamline network management and keep your network safe and sound. Griffin is a new class of smart Wi-Fi routers with an app that makes it easy for you to protect your kids and your privacy online, as well as manage your entire network. Some call it an intelligent network firewall, we call it sensible protection for your kids, your webcams, and all the smart devices invading our homes. The Griffin Connect app is your remote control for your Griffin smart Wi-Fi router. This is an overview of some of the things it can do. When you open up the app, the first thing you'll see is the main dashboard. You have the main pause button that will pause all managed devices and TV and entertainment devices. All devices under things will still be connected to the internet. Under pause is the status bar. This will show you if a user profile or device is paused, on homework time, or on bedtime. You can click on the status to go to the user displayed. Below that are all the devices on your network, categorized by managed, unmanaged, things like connected thermostat or light bulbs, and TV and entertainment devices like connected TVs and other things. Click on this to see a list of all the devices and the device details where you can change the device's name and its type or assigned user. That's the main dashboard. On the bottom are the navigation tabs for users, notifications, network, and settings. You may not want the same bedtime for your toddler as you would for your teen. Users is where you will create different user profiles for each family member. Once users' profiles are created, assign the laptops, iPads, and other devices they use to connect to the internet to that user profile so they all follow the same rules. You can watch our other tutorial on how to set up user profiles. Notification is where you will get notification messages for blocked sites or bedtime extension requests from your child or your adult child. You will go here to approve or block. Virus alerts or vulnerability warnings will also be shown here, as well as software update alerts. If you get one of those, it means that Griffin is working to protect your entire network. Now let's go to the network tab. This is where we show you your network health. You will see a throughput meter. This is how fast your Griffin is connected to the network, not how fast your laptop is, since there could be other factors like your teen playing on his Xbox. You can also see all the active devices connected on Griffin, or if you have a mesh repeater, see which device is connected to each Griffin. The last feature on network is probably the coolest. You can prioritize a device on the network for those times where you really need to binge watch Stranger Things. Lastly is the settings tab. This is where you can see or change your Wi-Fi network name and password, change the malware protection level, and add another repeater. This is also where you can contact customer support if you're having any trouble or just have a question or suggestion for us. We love to hear from you. That's it for the Griffin App Overview. Many routers with the fastest speeds and the glitziest features cost hundreds of dollars. But, strictly speaking, most home networks perform just as well with a less expensive router like the Archer A9. While it has lower max speeds than other routers on this list, the AC1900 speed should still amply cover your Wi-Fi needs. It has a lot of the basic security features you need, including a firewall, guest networks, parental controls, and VPN compatibility. The TP-Link Tether app allows you to set up and monitor your network easily. So all around, this router keeps your network secure on a budget.
If you want to future-proof your home network for the next several years and prep for the fastest internet speeds, Wi-Fi 6, the newest Wi-Fi standard, is the way to go. The ASUS RTAX88U is a great security-focused Wi-Fi 6 router with wireless speeds up to 6000 megabits per second, and it includes a subscription to iProtection Pro, powered by Trend Micro. iProtection provides an advanced firewall, automatic software updates, URL-level content filtering, detection and protection of malware-infected devices, and malicious site blocking. Many devices that include extra security software charge for the subscription after a year or two, but you get iProtection Pro for as long as you have your ASUS router. The Synology RT2600AC router has a robust feature set that allows tech-savvy users to customize their network. While the fancier features and applications may be a bit much for most people, the RT2600AC is a good choice if you want complete control over your network security. What sets the Synology router apart from others is its firmware. Many routers have basic firmware management pages or apps, but Synology's is pretty complex but, in a good way. You can get to basic controls, like guest networks and parental controls, via the DS router app, but accessing the online interface via a web browser lets you get deep into customization. The package center in the online interface has several included packages or apps like the VPN package or intrusion prevention package to add extra layers of security to your network. Welcome to Google Nest. Let's set up your Nest Wi-Fi router and point. Your Nest Wi-Fi router and point create a mesh network that replaces your existing router and spreads a strong, reliable signal throughout your home. Each Nest Wi-Fi point also has a speaker with the Google Assistant, so you can play music, get answers to questions, and control compatible devices with your voice. Nest Wi-Fi includes a router and may include one or two points, depending on the package you've purchased. There is also an Ethernet cable and power adapters for each device. The router plugs into your internet provider's modem to create your Wi-Fi network. Each point adds more Wi-Fi coverage and has a speaker with the Google Assistant. To use your Nest Wi-Fi, you will also need a Google account, the Google Home app, internet service, and a modem for the internet service. First, let's set up the router. The router has the Google G logo on top and Ethernet ports on the bottom. Place your router near your modem and in plain view, like on a shelf or on a TV stand. Avoid putting it next to other objects that could obstruct it. Connect the Ethernet cable to the router. Then connect the other end to your modem. Connect your power cable to the router. Then plug the adapter into a power outlet. Wait about a minute, and the light will pulse white when it's ready for setup. If you don't have the Google Home app already, Download it from the Google Play or the Apple App Store. Open the Google Home app and click the Add button. If you haven't already, create a home for your devices. If you've already set up a home, just add a new device. Choose your Nest Wi-Fi router. The app will lead you through setup. When prompted, point your phone at the QR code on the bottom of the router. The app will check your router's internet connection and finish preparing your Nest Wi-Fi for setup. Finally, name your network and choose a secure password that will be hard for others to guess. You'll be able to easily share the password with friends and family through the app whenever you need to. When your router setup is finished, the router's light will turn solid white. Now that you've set up your router, let's connect your Nest Wi-Fi point. 
Each point you add will provide additional coverage to your home by creating a mesh network. Depending on the size of your home, you may need more than one Wi-Fi point to get full home coverage. Check out the tool on the Google Store, linked in the description box below, to get a recommendation for your home. Place your point two rooms away from your router or from another point. Depending on your home, building materials and other objects can interfere with or reduce your coverage. You may need to adjust the location of your point if you experience issues. Put your point out in the open for the strongest Wi-Fi signal and to make it easy to interact with the Google Assistant. Connect your power cable to the point, then plug the adapter into a power outlet. Give it about a minute. The light ring under the point will pulse white. When it's ready for setup, it'll talk to you and let you know it's ready. Follow the instructions in the Google Home app to finish setting up your point. Follow the same process to set up any additional points. When you finish setting up all of your devices, the Home app will run a mesh test to confirm your devices are correctly placed, online, and working together. Once setup is complete, you can ask the assistant to play some music, check your internet speed, and more. OK, Google, what's my internet speed? Blazing fast. You can use the Google Home app to change your Wi-Fi network password, run speed tests, set up parental controls, or create a guest network. That's it. Now you're ready to enjoy better Wi-Fi throughout your home and easy access to the Google Assistant.